Okay, we are starting right away, getting into it. Man, this is... it's so nostalgic. Indeed. Well, let's see if uh, Marker still knows how to face against Wasabi. Wasabi's been working on DK a whole lot more in the past few Yeah, few he absolutely months. is basically a DK main that dabbles in Diddy every now and then. Yeah, but he's, he's opted out of Diddy in, in, in favor of more DK. It seems. Uh, they're just clapping each other. Great punish. Yeah, DK will stretch his arms out just for you. And Corrin's got that board smash too. Nice rhyme. <laughs> oh, I thought that was an insane mix up from Moniker, but yeah, yeah, he no, just didn't do anything. A side, an unreleased side B just puts you in a lot of lag. Yeah. You think it's a mix mix up, but no, it's just. It, a really it, yeah, slow you mix. just can't do anything. Yeah, it's better to let it go than just to. Oh, oh, oh he's oh. dead. Ooh. It gets clapped on, quite literally. He didn't have a jump either, so I think even if he got the right move there, he died. Yeah. So I'll be putting in all the right moves on Moniker. He's getting, getting all the pressure. Oh, but nice reverse pull by Moniker. Oh, great grab grab. Knowing that he's placed the pressure on Wasabi. Wasabi at high percent. He's forced to play more defensively. He's gonna be in that shield more often, and Moniker knows this. For sure. Ooh, yeah, look at that. But the back airs. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Back airs. He has no jump. He got up B. Down. Oh, oh forward there. Wasabi. Oh, okay. Oh! He wasn't ready for that DA. Wasabi hitting with the very quick yai, and there goes a Dragon Boy. Well, quick game one from Wasabi. Indeed. Lilac Crew is going to be the counter pick. Ooh. Interesting. As we know, we've seen a lot of Lilac Jank. Normally we see Moniker go to the stage when he wants to play like Pikachu or Bayonetta or something, but he's staying core in here. Yeah. I remember his opinion flip-flopped on this stage quite a bit. He used to say that this was uh, Korin's best stage, and then he suddenly decided, no, it's actually his worst stage, and then I don't know where he stands on it now. Yeah, Jank or not, you, you, can't, you can't beat the fact that Lilat will get these kills very quickly. As you can see, Monica yeah. racking up all that damage. It's very congested here. It's 30 seconds. Oh, but he's missing. Ooh! Oh. That was a 9 wine, but it didn't kill. Yeah, DK. A very big boy, as I keep saying. Oh! Whoa, that was so. That was actually so smart from Wasabi. He knew the blast zone was tilting, so he walked forward just slightly oh, so that he could get the highest chance of killing him with Ding Dong. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. And it still didn't kill. Oh, okay. that is. Oh, oh, unpunished! Very uh, fortunate for Monica there. Monica playing the special game very well. Oh, but Wasabi misses his jump. And he, and, and he gets cut in by the space armada. Ooh. What's Wasabi trying to do? He's shaking a shield button. Oh, that's a, yeah. That's you can't, can't block that, man. That's gonna break your shield. Yeah, and was helping. The counter, very smart. Great counter. Oh man, great spacing by Moniker. Look that jab. He just runs up and grabs him. Oh, oh. Okay, Wasabi, a little uh, hesitant. Yeah, the reaction time a little bit slow there. Oh, no, tries to do a tamai. A ledge trap situation. Moniker turns it around. Wasabi. Wasabi's got to play a bit more. Oh, no, up tilt the strong up tilt. That was the thing back when yes. Champagne was full of DKs. That was. This was the move that killed everybody. 